Um, today I wanted to show you the Grayline PDFM 5.1. This is a, a portable Doppler flow meter. Uh, what makes this unit uh, so useful in the field uh, is number one, its uh, size. Uh, this is extremely compact. It does pack a great deal of features though into that. Uh, the biggest of which is that this allows you to data log all of your uh, information, download it at the end of the test, and bring that into a uh, usable format to show it to your client. Uh, where we're going to be using this meter uh, is in a situation where the line can't be shut down and they cannot make a penetration insert Doppler meter. So this unit's going to be used uh, to give us some flow indications on a couple of vortex meters uh, that can't be uh, otherwise pulled out. So, um, so this is the uh, basic meter itself. Uh, this is the meter box and the head. This is the sensor. As you can see here, this sensor has a uh, key input. You're able to just go ahead and plug this in. There are different length cables available for it. This is a uh, relatively short one because we're going to be right next to the unit. And this is the Doppler head itself. As you can see, this one is a little bit dirty because uh, we just used it, but uh, normally this would be really clean. And uh, what we're going to do is to simply slide this device into this mounting bracket. And we bring this into it. This allows the whole unit to be held directly down onto the pipe surface. And then by tightening this, you can actually provide some additional force to bring this instrument down. Um, with this, you can use uh, pipe clamps, which is what we're going to be using on this job. Uh, you can see those there, and they're in the bottom of the case. Uh, you can also actually uh, use uh, regular tie wraps. Uh, if you get them tight enough, and then get this uh, good and locked down. Uh, standard tie straps will work as well. So if it's on a pipe that's larger than what you've got your straps for. Um, this is the uh, Dow Corning uh, compound. It's an electrical insulating compound. This is what we recommend uh, for use with these. One of the uh, downsides to using a uh, Doppler meter of this sort is that you need to have a really good connection between the pipe and the face of the device. If you don't, you'll never be able to get an accurate signal in this uh, with this unit. So. That's, uh, that's a very important thing to know when you're using these, uh, these clamp-on Doppler styles. Um, in terms of programming, it's really easy. Uh, it's just a, a simple keypad. And so in this case, this would tell you your current status, uh, which would give you your velocity if it were actually measuring your, your co total cutoff. And then each one of these, there's no password on this. Um, we're gonna go into calibration And this is where we're going to go ahead and set. If we wanted to have our 4 to 20 milliamps, uh, we could go ahead and set this based upon the velocities. Uh, this is the minimum velocity, the pipe inside diameter. So you'll need to reference a pipe selection guide to figure out what your inside diameter is. Dampening, uh, in this case, it's on 10%. I usually like to leave it about 10%, uh, but depending upon your application, you may want to change that. Data logging, this is what I was talking about before. This allows you to log every piece of uh, data that comes off this device. Uh, right now we've got the log stopped because there's no need for us to log on this particular application. But I may end up doing that depending upon what the client's needs are. With this, I can actually give a simulation as well. And I can tell it what I want my flow to be and at that point in time, the instrument will actually give us a feedback. Uh, where that becomes useful is when you're trying to test outputs. And then the configuration. So this tells me exactly how things are set up, uh, which logger version, which Doppler version, the actual utility software. So as updates come in, this will let you know where you're at. And that's it. That's a, a quick overview of the uh, Grayline Instruments. Uh, PDFM 5.1, and I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing this.